breaking news to tell you about violence prompts the Cermak Road Cinco de Mayo parade to be disrupted as gunshots ring out. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is live on the west side with the latest. Courtney. Jackie and Timon, good afternoon. This afternoon, multiple people were arrested as tensions escalated in the city's Little Village neighborhood. Police say multiple guns were recovered, multiple objects were thrown at officers, and we do know that those taken into custody were taken to several places, one of those police districts right here at CPD's 10th district. It's just uh, it's out of control. This right here, part of the reason why the historic Cinco de Mayo parade was canceled Sunday afternoon. It was set to step off at noon near Cermak and Damon, making its way to Marshall in California. A lot of families, a lot of kids, kids love parades. You know, I, I hate to see it happen. And, you know, it really bothers me and it bothers everyone. Due to area gang violence, police say they made the joint decision with elected officials and parade organizers out of an abundance of caution. Residents say parade goers and participants were getting ready for the celebration to start. And then just chaos just happens, you know. There's like, there's no respect. Police sources say this is part of an ongoing territorial dispute between rival gangs. The violence unfolding along Cermak and surrounding streets on Sunday. All right, uh, 22nd in California, they're still shooting guys. 2-2 two, two in California. Four shots fired. We got uh, gangbangers pulled garbage cans up down the block over at 22nd in California. Tensions escalating as officers tried to disperse crowds. Police sources say people were still shooting. Groups flashing what appear to be gang signs on opposite sides of the road as crowds were running from one area to the next. They're going to move it. They're starting to hit squash hard. As streets in the area remain closed down, businesses like Raymond's Tacos shuttered their doors as vendors cleared the area. An impact to the people trying to make a living as well as the ones living in the area where this unfolded. You know, people are afraid to come into the neighborhood and people are moving out, but this is home, so I live here. What happens is that the community, they're afraid of the gangs. The excitement to hold a parade canceled several times over the last few years due to various reasons taken away once again. Residents say they want to see change happen so people don't have to live in fear. I hope they step up the police presence. You know, uh, we are concerned and I know the police are doing their best. For, for Chicago to be a better community, we all need to work together. We need not to be afraid. Now, right now, some conflicting information we're trying to work out. Police say that while the parade was canceled, those floats and their participants did have to be routed out of the area. So while it looks like there may have been a parade that was held and they were moving along a different route, they say they were just trying to get them out of there. Meantime, Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez and his office are disputing that claim, saying the parade went on as scheduled, starting on Damon along Blue Island until it finished at Blue Island and Washtenaw. A heavy police presence remains in that area right now, and police say they have been responding to ongoing shot spotter alerts in that area all day. No officers were reported with any injuries in all of this. For now, reporting live outside of CPD's 10th District, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.